This is what life in Rome was really like. Exploding toilets in communal bathrooms were seemingly common in Roman times. Believe it or not, but the ancient Romans actually had chamber pots in their rooms. Still, the most famous of their bathroom activities was the fact they often used to use the bathroom in communal restrooms. They were found across Rome and featured lines of toilets one next to each other, with everything being washed into the sewers. Unfortunately, the sewer system wasn't the same as it is today. That meant it wasn't long before dangerous gases, like methane, built up in the sewers and were known to cause sudden explosions or to cause toilets to burst into flames. While there are no known cases of someone losing their life to a toilet, it was certainly a possibility. Roman baths included just about everything someone could need. Throughout the years, archaeologists have uncovered incredible things that have helped retell the stories of what life was like in ancient Rome. One of the many discoveries has been Roman baths, but what were they like? It turns out they were more than just a place to have communal baths with the rest of the town. The baths also had everything someone could need as they spanned over areas the size of small towns, with the baths of Caracalla being one of the largest. It could house 1,600 bathers and had a gym, library, and two 19-foot fountains. To top it off, the baths had a gentleman's establishment, marble statues, artwork, and mosaics. Emperors would show up as celebrities to Roman baths. It might come as little surprise that using the Roman baths was a common place to catch all kinds of illnesses. Still, that didn't stop emperors from turning up to the baths, where they were treated just like celebrities. Of course, it was also a great chance to get to know the people and become a known face. While those with little money had to slather themselves in oil and rub their backs on stone walls to exfoliate, the emperors had an entourage of people to do it all for them. These were the ones in charge of carrying their robes, rubbing olive oil over their skin, and scraping it all off with a tool called a strigil. 